Hey, 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 Terrence Young here with another Tuesday tip, okay? Today, I want to talk to you about actually starting a business, right? So you may be doing business right now. You may be a sole uh, proprietor. And if you don't know what a sole proprietor is, that's basically doing business um, in your own personal name. Now, first of all, let me make this clear. I'm not an attorney. I'm not a tax um, person, but I'm just talking on education, just educating people, right? So, first of all, in my opinion, okay, the proper way to do business is to come up with a business name, right? Now, once you figure out what that business name, what I suggest next, and everybody might, you know, feel differently, but go see if that domain is available. I mean, it, it kind of like in today's society, you come up with a name, a great name, but the name is already taken. Um, because if you can find the .com to that name, yeah, you can end up with a .biz, .net, so on and so on, just like my company, eFunder.pro. How much better would it have been if I could have found the .com of that, you know, of that company, right? So, um, see if that's available, but on the same token, when you find that domain and if you're okay with the .net and all that, that's fine. You know what I mean? Be okay with that, right? Now, the next thing you want to do is to register your business name with the state, okay? So now, this is how you become an LLC, uh, incorporated, uh, S-Corp, however you want to do it. Most business owners, you know, especially if you're in real estate or something, an LLC is suffice, right? So once you register with the state, the next thing you want to do is go get your EIN number, right? So what's an EIN number? That's the social security number for your business. You go to irs.gov in the search, type in EIN. And listen, don't let nobody um, charge you for an EIN number. They're free, okay? Just go to the website, put in the information they they require, and they will produce you an EIN number, okay? The next thing, um, once you're created, once your entity is created, set up an operating agreement, okay? These are also known as corporate documents, right? So when you create the EIN number, you're going to get your articles of an um, organization, you're going to get the EIN, but we also want to create an operational um, agreement, okay? So what you could do, you could just Google one um, and, you know, a blank copy of one or something like that. But in this operating agreement, this is where you want to, um, especially if you have partners, this will actually spell out what percentage of the company that you own. It will also... Um, express who can open up bank accounts, who your secretary is, so on and so on. So get that operating agreement together. Now, once you get the operating agreement together, now you could go to your local bank and you can open up your business bank account, right? So you need to have a business bank account separate from your personal bank account so you don't commingle the monies, right? Because now you're becoming a legit business. And a legit business should have its own bank account. Now, I usually suggest a minimum of two bank accounts. So first one is for operations. The second one is for taxes. Um, some people do may do a third one for payroll. Um, I just feel like, okay, you operate out of the one account. You dump money as you make money in you know, into the tax account because you got to pay taxes on the money that, you, um, that you're that you making. Um, you also got to pay payroll taxes and things like that. So all that could just kind of get paid out of the tax account, right? Um, let's see, what am I missing? So once you do that, um, I would say definitely, and you might want to do this prior to the bank account, getting the bank account, get a business phone number, okay? This is very important because... Let's just say you're using your personal cell phone for your business, right? And so now you get a phone call. So the phone call comes in. Hey, what's up, bro? How you doing? 
Or you might be, hey, 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 who am I speaking with? But that might be a business call, right? You don't know. One of the one one of the um best software companies that I um I guess you call it a software company is called um Cricket, right? Not Cricket, um Grasshopper. I'm sorry. Look, one of the little bugs, um Grasshopper, and I love Grasshopper, right? Because if you're not in a position to actually get a phone system yet for your office or so on, maybe you just you know working from home, um. Grasshopper can be one of the best resources that um, a business owner can have because what it does for a very minimum fee every month, you can actually get a business phone number that rings to your cell phone. So what happens is when um, when the business call comes in and you see, you know, you might have it and it might say Grasshopper come across. So when you see Grasshopper, yeah, you might not know who it is, but you see Grasshopper, you know that's a business call. Now you can say, hello, and thank you for calling ABC Company. How may I help you? You can answer the phone very, very professionally, okay? When it's not a Grasshopper call, then you just know it's somebody from your family or whatever, right? So that's something that you want to do. Now, you've got your EIN number, you have your articles of organization, you have your business phone number, you have your um, business bank account. Now, one of the things that you want to start doing is building your business credit because you have a business now that's separate from you, okay? So to be able to start building your business credit, that's something that you can go to actually to one of my websites if you go to efunderpro.com, that's E-F-U-N-D-E-R-P-R-O.com, and you can find out some free information on that. So this is my tip for this week, how to get legit in your business, how to put a whole business together, becoming an LLC, registering with your state, getting a business phone number, getting your domain, and um, getting your phone number right with um, Grasshopper or company there like it and start building your business credit. All right, you all take care.